The map, Too Much Water, created by Time Lord, was the winning map in the 2009 map making competition. This is a 1v1 map with two levels and is a real beauty to behold. The screenshots show the true dedication put into this map with all the great detail. This makes this one great map. Queen Violetta of the Humans starts off above ground in the northwest. Costa said, I have played this map quite a lot. I feel it is quite balanced, but I must admit that I was hoping for the humans. In my opinion, they have more options in this game. Control animal and to be able to buy both those human towns are some of the advantages. I experienced in playtesting that rushing in this map is quite hard to succeed with. It is easy to build up quite good defenses in the capitals. My strategy was therefore first of all to play for a long game. I focused on myself to take structures, resources, etc. Amelia Jane of the Goblins starts off underground in the southeast with two cities. Swolt said, my feeling was that there weren't huge balance issues. When I got assigned the Goblins, I took another closer look at the map. It was clear that it was going to be an enormous amount of hard hitters with human knights versus my slow butchers. So I didn't feel like allowing the game to go much past day 10. My plan was simple, to switch positions. I was going to sneak past him very quickly and take his capital and make the knights myself. It was a very risky rush strategy. I began by capturing the mine in the west, and I decided to kill the Ents so I could buy the Jewid and Elf Ranger. I was fortunate in the infidels that showed up. I also sold the Wizard Tower to be able to buy those troops and the buy all this by day three. Day one, it was a bad start with disappointing spells and the quest infidels showed up in the east forcing me to go west immediately and play an even riskier game. Day two to three, all battles went well. I used taunt well to level up my hero and didn't lose many units. The quest reward ended up being a waste of time, another gamble lost, and now I'm not feeling very comfortable. On day four, my elf ranger captures the elf town. Well, my main stack of troops clear the rainbows and on day five, I got a nice pistol and money for that. I then split my troops, sending my druid and herbalist south towards the infidels. Got cash for killing them on day six. And at the end of day seven, they were ready to take on the eight crocs in the shipyard. My main stack went north on day five to the haunted crypt, giving Captain Richard a helm on day six. Then, on day seven, I killed the area guards up north so my unicorn could run over the bridge and buy the human town. On day four and five, there is mostly just movement, but day six starts to get interesting as a scout above ground has seen the domain of the queen. We block the entrance just in case. On day seven, we are faced with a choice. Attack the queen, sending her to the void, leaving our forces spread out, or do we wait one more day to trap her and maybe a few more support troops? We decide to wait, not knowing she has already sold off her wizard tower. Day 8. Uh-oh. My night scouts out underground and finds Amelia Jane. We run away, hiding our queen as far away as possible. We ran south, hoping Swolt would go for the capital. Fortunately, we recruited five of the eight crocs on the shipyard and rushed every troop back to protect the homeland. Day 8. So yes, I obviously pushed for the capital instead of chasing south. I thought Costa was bluffing about having a lot of defenses when I noticed the really insane amount of crocs. Uh-oh. I just bought the fastest troops from that druid circle on day 9 and 10 and tried to hunt the wizard down. In the meantime, I just kept summoning boars to aid the hunt. This was my only option as I had not planned for a long-term strategy. Day 9, and we have five crocs in the capital with five more on the way. Herbalist, druid, elven ranger, and a tick will support the defense while our wizard and the crew are running away from Amelia Jane. Bought me this human town and killed Amelia's darter scout, then set my unicorn scouting. 
also bought the other human town, sending a couple of units and s to scout ahead too. Day 10, all units are in place. I could not afford Costa's wizard combining with more troops, especially escaping through to the west with all those crocs, so I had to keep the pressure up. On day 12, we were closing in on that one chance left. If Costa holed up in the city, I could attack him on day 14. In test simulations, I won due to fixed combat targeting his wizard early in the battle. This was my last hope. I realized he could attack me, but I was hoping Costa would think of himself as the hunted and I as the hunter. Hopefully, he didn't know I was without my tower, too. Day 13, we continue to protect ourselves in the human town, but in the east, we are by machines. My unicorn scouts slip underground, but I fail to notice that Swolt's wizard tower is gone. On day 14, with Swolt at our doorstep, we notice the tower is gone. Aha! We can attack. We send a full stack with Captain Richard and win the battle easily. Victory.